What was once lost has found a home with Rob Greenberg. Thousands of pieces of New Haven's history, big and small, on display in an extensive art installation. I call it lost in New Haven, but if you come here, you will find New Haven. They're souvenirs from an ever-changing city, but these artifacts are in danger of being lost once again. The landlord has decided not to uh, renew, renew the lease. There are well over 5,000 New Haven artifacts in this 4,000 square foot space. All of it needs a new home by the end of January. It wasn't something that I anticipated. I would not have uh, basically opened all this up if I thought I was going to have to leave in only a year. The collection spans New Haven's history, its beginnings, the manufacturers that made it famous, and the people and places that are shaping it today. I wanted an artifact. Brought you oh, one great. of my news eight, my flags. this, that's awesome. But to keep telling the story of New Haven, he needs a new space. I need somebody to help me get the proper amount of money to either purchase a building or somebody who's philanthropic that wants to donate a space. He's hoping for help from the city and the community to get him a space where his collection can be seen by an even larger audience. I could promote the city probably better than anybody else could promote the city because I have the tangible evidence of the thousands and thousands of people that have existed here before us. So what better lure for the city of New Haven to have than that? In New Haven, Susie Hunter, News 8.